Hey everyone! I recently had a comment on one of my other videos that I made about the Big 7 method um, and they asked if this method works for decimals as well. So I wanted to make a video to show you that it does. Um, I have a problem set up here. I've got 37.5 divided by 3. I always like to start out with an easy one to show you the method. Um, now if you're not familiar with the Big 7 Division method, you need to uh, check out my other video that actually explains how and why the Big 7 method works. Because I'm just going to go through a few examples on this video, so if you're not really familiar with the method, it might not make sense. Um, but okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this. Uh, this problem. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my line down there and go ahead and start figuring out how many of these threes I can take out of this larger number. So I'm actually just going to kind of ignore that this decimal is right here for right now and I'm going to treat this number as 375 um, because when I put my decimal in later on once I'm all done with my division then uh, it will make the place value correct. Okay, so I know that uh, I can take uh, 100 threes out of this number. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract that and it leaves me with 75 and then I know that I can take out another 20 threes and that leaves me with 15 and then I know that I can take out another five threes to get down to zero. So this problem worked out nice and evenly. I came out, I came out to zero down here at the bottom. So I, I, I'm just gonna add up my, how many threes I took out over here on the side. And what I always do is I start at the, at the right and work my way over. That way I know I have my place values in the correct uh, spots. So I've got five ones, I've got two tens, and I've got 100. But these aren't actually ones, tens, and hundreds um, because this decimal is here in my original number. I'm just going to put it right up here directly above it. So my actual answer is 12.5 or 12 and a half. I'm going to show you another example with a little bit larger number. And this one actually has a decimal that goes on for uh, for several place values. So what I always tell my students is look at your directions. Your directions are going to help you immensely in solving these kinds of problems using this method. So for this particular one I'm just going to round to the nearest hundredth. So this is what that means. I need to add a decimal after my number underneath the bracket and then I'm going to add zeros for those place values. So here's a tenth, hundredth, and I'm going to add one more zero here for the thousandths place. I need that thousandths place so that I can round to the nearest hundredths place because this thousandths place is what's going to tell me what to do with that hundredths place. So I want to just extend my line just like I did before. Okay, so again, for now, I'm just ignoring this decimal, and I'm treating this problem as 153,000 divided by 7. So, let's get started. Well, right here, I can see that this 15, that's calling out to me to put two sevens, or to take two sevens out of this number. But it's not just two sevens, because I need to fill in these other place values. So it's really 20,000 sevens because I put four zeros here. I need four zeros after my two over here. And now I'm going to subtract. Okay, so now I'm left with 13,000. I'm just going to go ahead and take out another 7,000, which is 1,000 sevens. So I'm always recording how many of those sevens I'm taking out on this right hand side. And when we subtract, get down to 6,000. Well, I know that 7 times 8 is 56. And then I've got these other two place values to fill in. So I really need to take out 800 sevens. Okay, so I'm left with 400 there. 
Okay, then again, I, I'm just going to look at this as 40. Well, I know that I can take out five sevens. That makes 35, but I'm going to add another zero. So it's really 50 sevens that I'm taking out of this number. I'm subtracting. Okay, and then I've got 57 or 50 left that I need to take out of. Seven times seven is 49, so I'm left with one. So this one doesn't come out evenly. I don't even really care about this one anymore because I know that I've divided enough, I've done enough place values to get that thousandths place that I need in order to round to the nearest hundredth. Because after the thousandths place, it doesn't really matter what's in the ten thousandths and hundred thousandths and all of those place values off to the right. Okay. So I've got all of my, my sevens here, however many sevens I took out of this number. Um, again, I'm just going to start at the right. I've got seven ones, and then I've got five tens, and I've got eight hundreds, and I've got one thousand, and I've got two ten thousands. But again, those aren't really the place values when we're putting it into our answer because our decimal is right here our decimal goes right here in our answer. Now, remember we're, we're rounding to the nearest hundredth, so this is the hundredths place right here. I'm going to use this seven. This seven tells me what to do with the five. That five needs to get bumped up to a six. So really my answer is 21.86. So there you go. That's how to use the big seven method with decimals. Um, if you have any questions for me or want to see another example, please let me know. Thanks.